Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another watercolor instructions. Uh, today I'm going to do another cityscape from Venice. Uh, so help me out if you haven't subscribed. Like the video, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification so that you don't miss a beat. Um, in terms of uh, materials, this is a Saunders 300 grams watercolor paper. And then um, on the right, I have a John Pike palette. And if you scroll all the way to the end, I will make sure I put in a couple of images of my, all the brushes I use, all the materials I use, and also all the colors I use. So as usual, so every time you want to paint, it's very important to do a value study. Um, gives you time to think what to do and then also you can understand a little more about uh, the composition of the thing so at the moment so i'm doing that's sort of a horizon so that's the horizon we're looking at the main cathedral and i'm going to do something again this is a value sketch i'm not going to be very particular about it but Okay, so there's some tree. Maybe I need to make it slightly smaller. So it gives you an idea of where you're making a mistake. Probably it's easier if I start from the other side. Um, see how it goes. Goes from here all the way, and the iconic, and I'm blanking out what the name of the building is. So So this one, um, completely the scale, a um, model the scale. All right, how about I start again? That one is not um, correct. All right, start, take two. So, Okay, I'm gonna block in the main building, which is, so it needs to be slightly smaller than that. So roughly, what a beautiful building. Needs to be a lot more, a lot smaller. Finally, I think that's what the scale we are looking at. Again, this is a value sketch. I'm not um, interested in adding details. I just want to understand where the drawing and how I'm going to plan. Hmm. So this one is going to come somewhere here. Okay. 
Okay, roughly about that place, and then there's the first pole. They're very important. Second pole, third, fourth, and then we got a couple more poles. And then there's a bank, obviously, not to mention all the commotion. There's the first gondola. There's a second gondola. And obviously I need to pay attention for that particular gondola. It's in the foreground and the main subject. So something like that. And got two empty seats. A lady and okay. That's about the details. Boy, this one's going to be more than an hour. It's got a lot more details, features to cover. Oh, I don't know whether it's a good choice. I'm committed. I'm going to draw. And also there's another boat. Um, again, everything is perspective. The barge. and the commotion in the background so not to forget that one is an important feature and there's uh, i think is the the islands on the other side there's a couple of gondolas over here see if i can capture that but it's already a quite a, a busy painting so again the simple value sketch is going to be Plenty of sky. Also, usually, if you know, notice most of my paintings, I pick a strong contrast. This one doesn't have a contrast, but I need to make it work. Um, doesn't need to have a shut out right. Okay, so that would be my first layer. A little more darker tones. So the further it goes, the smaller the waves or waves and So obviously there's a little more dark, there's a lot more going, the boat is dark, the barge, the doors, and Obviously the boat is a lot more iconic, it's black. Uh, 
Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of shadow on that side, saying, suggesting that that side is a lot darker. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Try to make a story saying that the sun is from that side and that particular wall is dark and that is dark and All right, so that's the story I'm going to try to paint. So where else do I change the tone a little bit? Okay. Okay, so that is my um, value sketch. Um, as I said, the drawing needs to be planned carefully so that the proportions are correct, uh, roughly where I want to do. And then also I want to pay particular attention to this particular gondola and the shape of these gondolas. I'm not too keen about the people, uh, as long as it looks all right. I want to pay attention to that gondola, the boat, the building, so there's a lot of interesting things in this painting. So I'm going to try to do it as fast as possible, but this is a painting I feel is going to take a little longer. And obviously the painting is at an incline. I just used a little bit of tape roll to keep it in the center. So I'm going to try to do a little light till I get that proportions right. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to use that as an indicator of how tall the dome is going to be. Okay. So I'm coming down. So obviously I see that particular plane. And a little wider. I'm going to darken it once. I have some sense of composition. Okay. So a little smaller. I'm just filling in rough shapes. I'm going to add a little more details shortly. So we're looking at that shape. So this one needs to be a little shorter. So this is going to be one of those paintings where I'll have to erase and then do a few more just to get the right height. So we're looking at that uh, roughly about that height. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I need to pay attention to the angles. So. OK, 
Okay, so it's got some sort of a, a balcony. I just need to pay attention to make sure it has white pillars. Just below that, there is a double door. I'm not going to add too many details, but uh, the number of doors and uh, it has to match to just to give. Okay. Okay. And there's a chimney of some sort. Okay. So I'm carrying on. Just adding a little more details. I'm going to just clear up a little bit so that you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm not worried about um, drawing over that. My eyes can pick which line I want to draw. Okay, and there's a tree, but that size and there's a boat which you can't see the top side that's a barge okay so small windows Okay, carry on. So over here. Okay, so the batch is a little longer. Okay, and Okay, so somewhere over here, so we're looking at that particular building. The lighthouse, and that's a horizon. So that's the background. Um, so obviously there's a lot of commotion going on here. I can cover that. Let's just pay attention to the gondola in the front. I just want to get that um, the angle right. I'm guessing that uh, angle is okay. So a little longer. Okay. Let's have a look. So I'm uh, okay with the shape and roughly it's slightly at a different angle but uh, I can, the perspective seems to be okay. So I'm going to leave that and there's a There's a person standing. So, uh, the boat is a little small, or I need to reduce the size of the person. So. The gondola and the person seems to be a little Yeah, I think I'm okay with that scale. Okay, 
So, as you can see, it takes a while to get the drawings correct because no matter how you, well you can paint and the technique, if your drawing is not accurate, it will. Okay, I'll add another person. In the front. Okay, so that's uh, fine. So I'm going to add these big roughly about that height. And the next one almost a lot of muscles height roughly about that height. There's a column, there's a light, and a dock. Okay, so I can manage that. I'm going to just add a couple more gondolas. See if I can get these perspective right. Okay. Okay, so there is a couple more small gondolas. I'm gonna add those. Gives a feel for Venice. Okay, so that is how much I want to draw at this stage. Let's crack on. I think it took a while to do the drawing, but that's the nature of the beast. So a little bit of uh, cobalt blue. Not necessarily it's the brightest day, but I'm gonna go I'm okay, I'm not being very careful, but I'm just uh, keeping it very loose. Making sure uh, I cover the edges. Just doing a first layer, slowly working my way through. And not to forget, if you want a reflection, I want to make sure it carries some reflection, even though the water is greenish. I'm going to add 
that element of reflection right away greenish tint and the guy who manages the gondola so he's got a stripy dress so i want to retain that i'm just being careful not to Okay, bluish green, plenty of water, That area I'm not particular worried about. Okay, so that is my drawing and my first cut okay okay I'm gonna go to some easy while it's drying I'm gonna just check if something needs to be tapped soak up excess water and maybe leave a couple of clouds if they're still wet A little bit of clouds here and there. That's a suggestion. Okay. So, diluted Algerian crimson and some yellow ochre. Plenty of water. water and then I'm going to continue building that okay so this one I'm going to just mix in a little more cerulean blue very diluted I'm going to come in with the first layer and I'm going to increase a little more. Okay. I missed out a spot for the sky. I should have taken a smaller brush, to be honest. And plenty of Alzerian. So 
I'm going to be try to leave that pillar white. And even more redder. Oof. Okay, so and not for the least the tree. Now I'm going to slowly start adding a little more details to the boat and to everything else. So the moment it becomes a little dry, I'm going to finish off these poles because these poles seem to be an easy, no fuss, easy win. So plenty of neutral and doesn't have to be the right shape it makes a little more make the base okay That's fine. Now I'm going to do the bottom half. So I'm looking at So slowly building those details. So same thing over here. Okay, and with the red or orange. Okay, if it bleeds in a little bit. Okay, and A little more on the side just gives okay so that is sort of done Okay, 
So we are slowly building while it's dry. I think this one is dry enough that I can start adding a few more details. So I'm just swapping between the synthetic smaller brushes depending on how much I need to draw. And uh, we're going to start adding a little more details. So first thing, the roof is a little more red. So same thing. Okay. What we forgot is to make A little lighter. That's the shadow. We're exaggerating a little bit about where the sun is. Gives an interesting perspective. So, go bold or go big. So, I'm coming again. I'm going to go there. Okay, and okay, so that's a little lighter. So that's where we are. So always use that as a reference so you know what you're trying to do. And I'm gonna do a little Okay, some suggestion that it is turning right and Now I'm going to switch around, play with smaller brushes till I get the right feel for it. So pitch black. details on that one. I'm going to slowly start adding some details on the other side. I still got that bluish door. I can use a little more blue. So just some details so that I know something's going on, but not too much. The story is just to give a feel for Venice, not 
every detail what we need. So this painting is still a little wet. I'm going to come in, come back in a minute to add those details. Plenty of sculptures, a lot of details. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna come in, add those details. Dry brush it has an amazing feel for it. So it's just pick up the pigments and then just go with dry brush and you get a really nice feel for it. Same thing on the other side. I can see some hangar doors. And uh, not too much forget that side is a little dark. Okay, so now we are getting close to the gondola. So our first thing is his shirts are his pants are black and not to forget the stick. Okay, let's do the gondola itself. I'm gonna go light, little brownish tint to start with, and then I'm gonna add a lot more darker tone, just to build. Okay, so there's a lady with a red dress. Let's just add that. And it's got a brown seat covers. Okay, all right, I've already committed, so I'm going to just continue. Okay, so black shirt and blue stripe shirt. Not to forget his or
make it a little more dark on the side there's another counter lamp okay so Okay, now we slowly build the front layer, the reflection. So there's a bit of a turquoise bluish green. I'm going to adjust as and when. A little more darker. So a little dark under the board. Pay attention so there will be bigger waves in the front and slightly smaller in the back. So there's no time for marking about. A little more dark green. I'm just going to mix as and when it's needed. So I'm slowly building. I'm being aware as I get a little further away. I need to start reducing the waves or the black. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to I'll do a couple more bigger ones and then I'm going to switch to smaller brush and I'm going to go slowly adding more and more details. So. which I forget, I haven't even touched the, the barge yet, so I gotta work on the barge. Okay, so it probably needs a little more bigger stroke in the front. So I'm slowly tying up all the details. Let me finish this board. 
So it's got a blue, red, green thing going. Okay, so a little more shade to the tree. A little more shade to the shot. Probably I'm going to come and add a little more details. Okay. I'm going to pick up some white. Add important line. It says that is the gondola and not one churn. All right, that's, I'm going to call it quits. Uh, I will let, see how it looks after it's dry. Thank you for tuning in. Again, as again, help me out, subscribe, and like the video. See you soon. Keep watercoloring.